<laughs> I, I was determined. I wanted to, uh, to have my baby and also sing all the nights to Matt with Luke Cossio. You know, tell him. And, um, so, uh, she heard a lot of music when she <laughs> Well, when did you start rehearsals? I mean, it In two weeks, when she was two weeks old. Now, I lived four blocks away, so that was a help. And I could go home all the time. But, um... Were you a nurse? Oh, I was, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, 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 that's, that's, no, that's right very out. It went through my head, and I'm thinking, should I ask the question? <laughs> <laughs> the question this lady asked is, were you nursing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I must have been telepathic with you because I didn't know I was going to say that. No, the, the answer is yes, yes. <laughs> from, that's where the four blocks away became. <laughs> 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 that's where it became and did you have a greater choice of roles then after that great success? Oh, yeah, so the doors opened for me after that, really, in a wonderful way. I don't know why. One doesn't. I look, you, you can't predict these things that become important. You can't. And when you try to predict them, those are all the, the things that flop in a way. So I, I try to go with the flow and, and be very hopeful about everything I do and stay passionate about whatever. Every project I do is my favorite project. Now, how do you choose a role? What basis do you use for that? That's a good question. I, um, I might be a little eccentric in that, again, I don't come to it primarily from a musical standpoint. I want to be touched and moved by the character in the story. That's very important to me. It's also important to me for choosing song literature. And, it, you know, I may be, this might not be the truth, because the truth might be that music is so ingrained in me that, that I don't have to think about it. I know immediately if I'm drawn to something or not musically, and then I end up focusing on the literature. I'm not sure. Uh, but. Um, for instance, I chose Il Pirata uh, when the Met said, what do you want to do next? And I said, I'd like to do a bel canto opera. And they said, well, what bel canto opera would you like to do? And, and I went, which is, by the way, a really fantastic question to be asked. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the Met says something like that to you, you know you've, 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 you've died and gone to heaven. But I really looked through all of the repertoire. Uh, not everything, but uh, Rossini himself wrote something like 30 you know, a ridiculous amount of opera. But I looked through a lot of repertoire and I chose Il Pirata because, uh, because I loved the final scene so much and I also thought it was a viable story. It's not, you can't only, there are some operas that have great final scenes and nothing else. And um, you can't uh, only choose them for that. But I, I chose this piece, so it's a huge responsibility. It's never been done at the Met. Uh, the public, you, the public, and uh, journalists and critics are going to pass judgment on this piece based on our performance. And it will have a future or it won't have a future on the Met based on our performance. So it's a little frightening. But um, uh, wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> Renee, how do, you, how do you start preparing a role for performance? I mean, obviously you look at the drama, but you're going to do it now. And then so... So how do you start? Well, I learn the music all at once, the music and the text at once. If it's a strange language, I get a lot of coaching in the language. That's what I mostly coach. And I listen. I am a, a copious listener. I listen to all the historic recordings I can find, everything, uh, to, to get a, an overview of style, to also get a sense of, 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 um, of the history of performance history of the piece, and, and then from all 